Okay. Right. Okay. This this piece of leather here came with the car one or you? No, no, I think they buy one. This yeah, one, yeah, they one, one, buy one. one. <laughs> the gap filler. Yeah, yeah, to fill up the gap. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, guys, I'm in a five series GT. This is KK. This is his car. Uh, he came over to uh, Werns, uh to. The service, service, yeah, uh, the service. Is this yeah. your first time here? Yeah, yeah, I saw I saw the Evo there and joined the club. Oh, nice. oh. welcome to Evo Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he joined Evo Club and then he came here for the service. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you got the what the, the 488, yeah. yeah. 488 ringgit for a uh, N55 engine, 3, three liter, liter yeah. inline six. Normally it would have cost what? I don't know. Even the engine oil costs 400 over. Yeah, yeah, even the engine oil. Even the engine oil costs four hundred over. So, so this promo what four eight eight covers yeah. engine oil filter labor. Yeah, yeah, everything that. Mm. Anyway, let's uh, then me myself and Con hasn't driven a five three five GT before, so yeah. he offered us to drive his car. Yeah. So hope the service did a good job. <laughs> 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 All right. So this is the same engine as my six series, and uh, oh, the car feels heavy. Ah, uh, yeah. This car is heavy. And uh, so KK here has had this car for three years. He said this is a what twenty what twenty eleven car, car, which he has had for three years. Yeah. Oh, it feels very different from an F ten. I would think so. Yeah, it feels very different. I think the the underpinnings of this car is more closely related to the seven series than the five. You know? Yeah. It has that kind of huge limo road manners. Mm. Yeah. And uh, a, a, a steering with zero fuel. <laughs> <laughs> zero. Yeah. Seriously, it's zero. No, it's made up like this, right? The yeah, steering? Yeah, yeah. Both they have they have two 535 GT, so they like this car so much they have two. So this is essentially a seven series, but in a smaller, shorter body, but the right height is slightly taller. I think this is like a HRV right height. Mm. About there, I think. They say it's supposed Which? to be a 5 series blank with a 7 series head ruler. That's ah, what GT. Yeah. Oh. Interesting. I don't know where to go. <laughs> I don't know the area. <laughs> yeah. um, where you stay? I'm still in Charles. Ah. Um, so, how was the service? It's good. It's good. It's good, uh, right? It's, it's, it's like a. It's like Premium. a 4S center. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Where where do you usually service this car? This one near my place because we don't really know where to go. Yep. Yeah. I saw Wins before, mm -hmm. but I just keep thinking it's probably gonna be very expensive. So I never think. Yeah, yeah. Everyone everyone thought it's gonna be expensive. Yeah, until I saw your portfolio. Yeah. yeah. Because the, the the logic of this place is they wanna retain the the kind of experience you get from 4S centers, ah. but they charge you at the if I'm not if I don't remember wrongly, uh, in terms of labor, right? Is forty percent of what the standard 4S center will charge. So most of us go to those Kedai Kedai roadside, but they oh my god! I turn here a very bad place to do a <laughs> to review a five series Grand Turismo. <laughs> <laughs> this is really a comfortable car, man. Yeah, it is. Long it distance is. Cruising. It is. It is. Con, you are a upper life now, family man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It, it confirms one thing. What? This thing does not drive like a F10 5 series. No, it does not. No, it, it does not. It does not. It's uh, but uh, I think it is a more practical package than the F10. It well, it, it is right. that it's, it's technically a kind of car that BMW invented. I right. think I think later we, we should definitely later in the video show that dual boot. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know when they launched this car, they did a drawing, yep. like an animation drawing. Yep. When we sit down to develop a new BMW, we think about it for a long time first. A very long time. A lot of questions need to be answered. The most important question is, who is this car for? Obviously for someone who likes to travel. For someone who likes playing golf, or maybe surfing. Anyway, someone who needs a lot of equipment. What else? Well, shopping bags, for example, or a painting from an art gallery. A sedan isn't roomy enough. A station wagon could be the best solution. No, that has too much utility character. Maybe we could build it higher. It's just more impressive. Great, a combination of a better view and higher seating. Uh, 
Aha. But what if someone wants to take corporate clients to lunch? Then even getting in the car would prove to be a climbing act. Okay, back to a lower position again. Or how about a semi-command seating position? That allows for easy entry and good visibility. But in no way does a BMW driver want to feel like a bus driver. And what about the passengers in the back? Where will they put their legs? Hmm, so I'm immediately reminded of... Exactly, the difference between economy and first class. But how to transfer that feeling to a car? Maybe the car can simply be lengthened. Add an adjustable back seat. More leg room or more trunk room. Either way you want. And what about a panorama roof? It immediately invokes a new interior feeling. Premium comfort. Everything feels good, just like first class. Additionally, a coupe-like shape adds first-class elegance to the exterior, without limiting headroom, of course. Now, everyone should be happy and satisfied. But wait, a colleague just had a good idea. What if something has to be put away quickly in the storage area? It's cold out, and it's getting really unpleasant in the car. Do I have to open the huge trunk just for a couple of bags? A small storage compartment within the big one would be just the right thing, wouldn't it? Ingenious! Open the small storage compartment, stash the bags, and it stays warm inside. And then, another extra feature. A storage area separated from the passenger's compartment, just like a sedan. Everything stored discreetly, nothing to be seen, smelled, or heard. Amazing! Semi-command seating position. Clever functionalities, first-class seating comfort, luxurious interior, and loads of adjustable storage areas. It's not a sedan, it's not an SUV or a station wagon. Something new, full of character, 100% BMW. Stylish appearance, elegant atmosphere, suitable for business settings, and powerful through and through. The BMW Concept 5 Series Gran Turismo. They draw an X5, mm. then they were like, there's someone thinking that, hmm, maybe I can lower the car and things like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's how this whole car came about. So you get the right height, the taller yeah. right height of uh, SUV or BMW likes to call them SAVs, yeah, right? Yeah. And then you don't have the roly poly feeling yeah. of a uh, SUV, mm -hmm. and then you get the headroom and all that. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. But I think it, it does it did result in a in the car that the shape is a bit the shape well, uh, not BMW. Yeah. Like. <laughs> That's why they get a crown. Uh. <laughs> I think like other yeah. journalists journalists they say the ugliest BMW ever. When the six when they announced the six series GT uh -huh. and they say the five series GT was a very not good looking BMW. Well the ugliest trees uh, the ugliest BMW is the three series T I. <laughs> Oh, oh god. <laughs> that one was, if I remember uh, correctly, right? It, uh, it is based on the E30 platform. That is the Down Syndrome brother of the E30, E90. E36. 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 E36 oh yeah. my god. Oh, it was an E36 pretending to be E46. Ah. No, it was a. Uh, uh, that car was launched in the E46 generation. No, but there was another earlier one yeah. that was that was launched in the E36 generation. Oh. That one had the E30 platform underneath. Oh in fact, you sit inside, right? It's an E30 dashboard. Serious? Yes. That's why, oh, like, I keep seeing you guys review that BMW is a very good driving one. Yeah, they are good. And it's I, fantastic. And this is the BMW I drove. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hmm, where's, the handling? Lost, like, where's the handling? Where's the handling? Right. <laughs> then I drove a GLA. Then I thought, yeah. oh, this car handled pretty well. Then you. Then one of your reviews you said like GLA has a very bad handling. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to redefine what it's handling. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the GLA, yeah, not, 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 not really very good. Driving wise, I don't think it's uh, anything special. I don't I, think I, it's. I, 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 I wouldn't think. I mean, it's it suits me. I mean, I'm a family man now. Yeah, I drive yeah. damn slow. Yeah. You know, I the just want. Is, yeah, it's yeah. comfortable, yeah. and it's very quiet. Yeah. Very very quiet. I'm curious to know, right? Those people who, to whom the this five GT appeal to, uh -huh. 
will they be similarly attracted to the 6 GT the new 6 GT I think that time people buy this because of a novelty factor mm. something that is so weird remember BMW right the 7 series of BMW so many generation right mm. the only generation where BMW beat S class in sales was the first Chris Banger 7 series oh. the ugliest one the ugliest 7 series yes. yes that was the only time where 7 series beat S class can you imagine that? So this kind of segment, right? They are used to beautiful things. You yeah, give them something yeah. weird. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's quite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the dashboard. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a very, it's a very well crafted. Dashboard. What you say, uh, BMW interiors are, uh, they, they are so functional. Yeah, yeah. You get in, you get into a BMW, right? Immediately you, you yeah, you can you familiarize yourself, yourself to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to me, in my experience, the, 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 the only other that, that is close to Toyota are the Koreans. Exactly. Yeah, Honda actually, also behind. I think, actually, Honda I, think behind. I think the Korean uh, reli reliability of Korean cars is uh, grossly underrated in our market. They, uh, to me, they are the same as Toyota. Yeah. Honda really cannot fight Toyota when it comes to reliability. Yeah, man. Yeah. No way, no way. It's a short drive. But, but it's, I mean, I, I appreciate that. I mean, yeah. first time I get to try this car. So, the 5 GT is. <laughs> Not sporty, not nope. sporty. Nope. But it's nope. uh, it's quite a bargain in the used car market now. Though. Super, super, I mean, like 110 k, 110, 120 k. Yeah. You get a car that is essentially the room of a seven series short wheelbase. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Very comfortable at the back. I can imagine that. I want to sit at the back. And it has a higher hip point than a regular five series. So yeah, man. Actually, for older older uh, passengers, they will appreciate getting in and out of this car. Can I sit behind? Yeah. <laughs> wow, we're too close to it. Sorry. Um, yeah. Oh, in the middle. Yeah. yeah. Oh, BMW. Yeah, okay, this is a very weird combination, huh? <laughs> oh, la we! Con! You can try it. No joke! Wow. You can try it. No right? joke, man. The room. Yeah. yeah the you want, you want me to bring here. your camera to the back? I can, I can, I can. I just remove it. <laughs> Come. Yeah, the roof liner. Yeah. Never mind. I can off you first. Uh, I'll bring you. You guys will return. Thank you, room for now. Oh. Hey. What the hell, eh? Yeah, man. This is. This is amazing. Yeah. And and see, uh, you notice that the seat. The seat cushion goes up very well, so there's very, very good. Uh, in the normal sedan, you sit like this. In this car, you sit like that. This is the natural angle. Yeah, it. it's slanted, and then Let's pull down the armrest, and then you get a full length uh, bench. A hey, different, different thing. Eh. Mm -hmm. This is. Ooh. You feel like a dato, so. Oh, you guys are a uh, uh, family with taste. <laughs> oh, and oh, and see this part here, right? This is a very nice length. Uh, to put your phone slot, you can drop your phone in there. Yeah. And and I think right and when the doubles time, as a handle. And when BMW launched, but at the time BMW designed this, yeah, these weren't in the these weren't really in the fat yet. You know, they was. Yeah, it was still the smaller. It was phones, still right? yeah. So, but still, it fits nicely. Your modern smartphones fit nicely in here. You guys, this car is a bargain. The five three five GT because you sit like a king behind. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a four door car. It's wow. Yeah. It makes sense, ah. Uh, uh huh. It, does. it makes sense. It makes so much sense. And uh, I like this handle. I like the way this handle is flushed with this trim. It goes very, It's a very nice design. Hey, and the the blinds are powered. Yeah. You Ooh, I cannot. I cannot touch it because my my my. Uh, oh, your oh, side. Yeah, your yeah. side. Your side. Do it, bro. Oh! <laughs> Ini seven series punya barang lah. Ada dalam sini. Oh, 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 oh shit! 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 shit. I damaged his car. Okay. <laughs> sorry, okay, la, I think I think those things have anti-pinch. Yeah, <laughs> 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 uh, let you guys see the interior. It's a totally different interior from the likes of. Um, the standard F10 5 series or the F12 F13 6 series or the F01 was it the F01 the F01 F01 yeah 
because all these cars as far as we know the, the 5 series 5 GT 6 series 7 series they're all from the same platform back then and brilliant so what makes this car better you have more room than a 5 series there is a wider center console than the standard 5 series but it's not as wide as the 7 series or the 6 series but this beautiful one piece open pole wood is damn nice and here's KK Hi. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah man with taste <laughs> nice man so let's hope Con Con is a we know he's a he's an F10 fan maybe he would e39 like the fan actually oh E39 fan yeah he's an E39 fan yeah yeah man, you're right, like, this is a very coupe kind of Yes, styling, style. right? You go you go to the back of a 4 series or 2 two series, you will see this kind of styling Like an extension of whatever yeah, is in yeah, front you're right, you're right. And uh, they made it into proper door panel uh, BMWs never like water bottles, don't know why, last time uh, And it's frameless, frameless And it's very difficult to make a frameless door car uh, to have really really good soundproofing Yeah, agreed so, Not bad, not bad so guys, this is a damn good used car to buy. Bye bye bye. Okay, so this car has a very unique boot. There's a dual opening. Con's gonna demonstrate here. So there's one here in the middle. This opens the boot like a traditional sedan, but it's a very vertical access. A wide opening as yeah, well. Yeah. So this one is for when you just want to put small items in. Uh. Or when you reverse to a very close to the wall. Relatively yeah. close to the wall. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or at the side here. Yeah. Lift it up like a hatch. Oh, oh it's powered. So, uh, oh, this thing is interesting. I've never seen such an intricately designed parcel shell. Oh, check this out. You, I think this is remote release of the really of the of the rear seat back. Try see, ah. Oh yeah. Uh, so basically, you can fold down the seats as well. So what makes this car different is this whole rear part. This thing is very, very chunky, very heavy. All this, you look at all this uh, carpet materials. This entire board is of a different build as well. So what they want to achieve is this. Normally for hatches, because there is a compartment that runs through, right? Again, sound will intrude the, the cabin. But this car was designed to lock away sound, yet provide you the, the uh, practicality of having a, like a hatch kind of car. So I think so much engineering went into the back. Uh. Yeah, man. It's really intricately engineered. Eh? And look at this. Look at this chunk. Crazy. Eh? There's a hinge hidden in there somewhere. Yeah, because they have because it's two opening doors. Yeah. And, it's and this closing. massive powered struts. Close. Yep. 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 Oh, brilliant. Yeah. So can't wait for the 6 GT then. Yeah man. But I hate that they changed the name to 6. Yeah, I think they should have kept the 5 GT name for that. Yeah. Oh well. Alright guys, that's the uh, 535 GT. A damn good used car to buy now.